What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my Twisted Life with Poetry. I am Poetry. You are here for a random ride to work video, uh, which is going to actually be a PNTV. Um, I haven't done a PNTV in a long time. If you're new here, PNTV is basically poetry's news and twisted views. And basically, I, I listen to shit that's going on in the news, read it on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever y'all post it at, hear it in other people's videos. And then I come to my channel and give my thoughts on it. And usually my thoughts and views are a lot different than most people. Because one, I don't tend to focus too much on the actual event. I just give my thoughts on what's going on around it. I'm trying to get around my potholes, y'all. So y'all can, um, won't get all the extra vibrato. Our streets in the loo are jacked up. I live in the city. I, I live in the city. By the time I get to the county, you see the camera smooth the fuck out. Where they putting all the tax dollars in. <laughs> so, poetry, news, and twisted views. Oh, uh, like I said, I haven't done one of these in a while. So, I'm not even sure where this is going to go because I haven't taken any real notes. I haven't really been following a lot of things. Um, but I'll start off first with, just in case y'all didn't know, the FBI has issued a... Uh, if I want to call it a warning, a warning to people to turn off their routers at home. Apparently, there is a, a Russian malware attack on our systems. And I think a lot of people thought it was a joke, it was a hoax. No, this is true. The FBI really did issue a statement saying that everybody that has a home router, for that's for your internet if you don't know what a router is, for your business or for your home, to turn it off. Um, I didn't read the full article to find out how long they wanted us to turn it off. And then you turn it back on though. Because this will help prevent this Russian malware attack. I don't think I've ever heard in so in, in, in my little lifetime so much involvement from the country of Russia with the United States as a whole. Since the USSR days like I was live when the USSR still existed I cannot remember the Russians being so fucking involved with the United States but now with this current president that we have they got him they got him in office I don't even want to call the man a president zero now that he's in they, they helped put his ass in office according to all of the facts and documentation that's been coming out and now they are attacking United States citizens uh, internet I'm not sure if it's just limited to the United States but the FBI is the United States government um, authority they are the ones who are saying turn your routers off so if y'all didn't do that yesterday y'all go home this afternoon turn your routers off hell if you can't leave it off leave it off overnight turn it back on the next day let it reset but basically they wanted to reset um, now I reset my router on Sunday prior to them issuing this statement but I did it because my system was acting wonky and I was trying to uh, <laughs> I was switching my um, my internet off of my TV because I used to have my internet running through my TV and I was switching it back to my PC so I could uh, I just wanted my whole living room setup to be different so I did that on Sunday so I don't know if I need to do it again so I, I probably will just because because when I got up this morning my internet on my cell phone wasn't working and I couldn't figure out what the hell it was all offline everything was offline and so I'm checking like my house like wait a minute is something wrong with the internet at the house the house was cool and I realized I wasn't on Wi-Fi on my telephone so it was T-Mobile so maybe T-Mobile was resetting the system based off of the FBI warning too so y'all haven't done that go ahead and reset y'all shit and somebody help me explain why the fuck is Russia so damn interested in these here United States? It's, it's, it's alarming. Like when the when USSR existed, I was a little weeby, you know, a little, little knee high to an ant type of kid. So I didn't get the full understanding of um, what threat the, Ru the Russians may have been. It, it's just really baffling me that they have so much involvement in the United States government. Like, oh, are they trying to make this fucking rush, rush part two, 2.0? What the fuck is going on? I know dumb Donald is just 
doing, oh, he doing the motherfucking most. Oh, he doing the most. This is why I don't do PNTV, because he pisses me off to talk about that fucking ignorant ass man that they got voted in office that stole the election. He ain't voting in, that the Russians put in office. It irritates me to talk about his raggedy ass. He, uh, they, they, he's snatching babies at the fucking border of the United States and Mexico. Um, baby, take, baby, basically taking bo- babies right out of the arms of the families. And there's concentration camps for these kids. Now, that was a few years ago. Uh, man, what is that? It's a former wrestler. Is it Steve Austin? He had a YouTube channel. He's always talking about these concentration pods and camps. Um, and he had evidence that they were existing. And he was wondering where they was moving. He said, a lot of them look like coffins to me. And they was wondering where they was moving at. That's exactly what's going on right now. I don't know how long this has been in the works, but I remember him talking about that on his YouTube channel. And he used to get blasted for being a conspiracy theorist and everything. And I was like, no, nah, bro, got some. He has some truth into what he's saying. And here we go. There, there are these concentration camps and pods that they are putting these babies in. What the fuck are they gonna do with these kids? And then I think I heard something like fifteen hundred of those children are missing. They just disappeared. Fucking period. And of course, dumb Donald ain't gonna look for him because fuck them up. Fuck, he don't want to stole them. Shit. He probably done killed them damn babies and put them in the coffins and shit. He don't want to stole them motherfuckers. So of course he ain't gonna look for him. He don't give a fuck about Spanish Latino people. Period. That's why he still ain't did nothing to help Puerto Rico, and they part of the fucking United States. Um. In addition to God, what the hell I was going to sit down here and talk about. The, 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 the chick, Kim Kardashian ass. She went to the White House to discuss prison reform. Somebody enlightened me on how Kim Kardashian has any knowledge or know-how about the prison industry does her family own prison systems or they invest into them um she has no real direct relation with the people who are greatly affected by the prison industry other than fucking black men so how is she an authority to discuss prison reform that was like when he had ben carson wanted to do the housing authority He's a fucking brain doctor. What the fuck he got to do? And then Steve Harvey putting all these other ignorant people in. Yeah, this 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 country is going to shit. It's going to shit. <laughs> and it can't be flushed down. You know you had that shit you want to flush down the toilet and it keep bubbling back up. That is our current administration right now. I have never seen so many people so disgusted with the administration yet this motherfucker still is doing what the fuck he want to do and ain't nobody going up against him the democrats are sucking his dick that's basically what they doing they complaining to us oh my god look at him so we can get riled up and complain about it but they ain't doing nothing to stop that motherfucker at all please do not believe it and I heard people talking about, yeah, but it's time for us to vote these motherfuckers out of office. We vote. We vote, we vote, we vote, we vote, we vote. We vote people in that we want to vote in. And them motherfuckers lie to you too. So when they get in the office, they still ain't doing the shit that you voted them in for. And yes, we want to hold them accountable. Well, we're going to write strong letters. We're going to write some strong letters to them. You ain't doing what you said, dude, when we voted your ass in. Now we got to wait another four, five, four years, two years, whatever your term is. To go vote you out again and get another motherfucker in there that lied to us again the first time. Now, I'm not against voting at all. I think that you should, in, in every capacity, do what you can, do what you must. Something gonna have to work at some point, you know what I'm saying? But let's just be honest. We vote motherfuckers in that we think are, are, are in line with the way that we believe. And when them motherfuckers get in office, they show us different. Somebody say President Obama. There was so much hope that we had for him. He, he, he campaigned on hope. 
And although he did a great deal, it's all been reversed. <laughs> I mean, poor people and black people still ain't felt no real effects of the things that he did because it wasn't centered towards us. Um, and we are the ones who are the most oppressed in this fucking country. So you would think that they would try to equal out the playing field, but that ain't gonna never happen because that's, they politicians. They fucking politicians. So, um, I'm, damn, I'm almost at work. I'm driving fast or something. I, I'd like to say I really didn't have much that I wanted to talk about in this PNTV. I just felt like talking about it. So I wanted to get on this Pusha T and Drake beef that's on the internet. This shit is classic hip hop. This is what rapping used to be about. The battles, the beef. When I first heard that Drake was bodying somebody on the internet, I was like, who the fuck is Drake bodying? If, if Drake is bodying anybody, then that person must be horrible. Because personally, I don't think Drake is a good fucking rapper. He is a great entertainer. That's what he is for me. But as far as lyrics and bars, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. As a writer and a poet, <laughs> and somebody who has an ear for music, Drake lyrically is shit to me. But if entertainment wise he got some nice fresh hooks whoever doing his beats is nice you know and y'all think he cute I don't but still so I was just like confused about who the fuck he was bodying but that letter he put out to Pusha T's CEO saying here submit your payment to me for re resurrected old boy's career that shit was golden and then Pusha T is coming back hitting hitting hard he brought out that damn baby why is everybody so surprised that Drake got this baby by this porn star that ain't no secret I think I, I think I shared that news in PNTV last year Drake has a thing for porn stars he's had at least two pregnant and uh, he done paid off one of them um, to help her make her get an abortion I'm not getting over officer shouldn't be opening up your door in a fucking traffic um so, yeah, I just, the baby ain't no shock to me because I could have sworn that the second porn star said she wasn't giving up the baby. That's the one he was grinding and dining over in Paris. So, and I ain't saying allegedly shit. Fuck, I remember talking about this story before on my channel. So, I hear people saying that he hitting below the bell, you know, with, uh, with the, with the, with the jabbing on the family, talking about different conditions. And I think they brought up some old blackface picture that Drake had did. I forgot what campaign that was a part of, but it, it, it had a purpose to it. Um, it wasn't that Drake was trying to, you know, he wasn't doing blackface for the purpose of like being malicious and insulting. I remember it had a purpose, I just don't remember specifically, because I, I don't really rock with Drake like that for real to be following him like that. But people saying, hey, oh, Pusha T is hitting below the belt. Baby, this is a rap beef. It's a battle. You lucky these niggas ain't throwing hands. So this is what be who has a battle or a beef with somebody and say, you know what? Let me consider this. I don't want to hurt his feelings too bad. I don't want to drag him too bad. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all be killing me when I be reading comments, especially even on these reality TV shows, when they these women get into an argument and they say something and they be like, oh my god, you hitting below the belt. That's what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to hit your ass so motherfucking hard that you shut the fuck up and don't try to come back at me with nothing more. So, I, this beef right here is epic for me. It's epic. As long as it don't get violent and they can just keep it to words, keep it to the music, keep it to the memes. This shit's hilarious to me. I am loving this Pusha T and Drake beef. And I'm not really fans of either one of them for real. But I'm loving this beef that got going on. It's hilarious. Man, I have not talked about Morgan Freeman and his sex allegations. Um, look, <laughs> I, I believe it because Morgan Freeman just seemed like a dirty old man to me. I remember there was rumors that he was trying to marry his uh, step-granddaughter. I remember that. Um, I remember her coming back and saying all that shit was not true. Um... And I know she married somebody else after that allegation. But I think the young lady is passed on by now. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. But I just remember all that shit. So I, it's, it's not... I wouldn't be shocked uh, if there was some truth to his uh, sexual misconduct. Um, especially the one lady 
that says that you know he kept trying to lift her dress up yeah bitch that's sexual misconduct but the one chick who was talking about she was pregnant and he made a comment about i wish i was there girl bye you reaching with that bullshit i watched that whole fucking interview old boy was sitting there talking about he had mistakenly said some woman was pregnant then she wasn't pregnant and uh the, the lady with the interview was like oh i bet you never said that again he's like oh hell no i never say that shit again and morgan freeman said i wish i was there he talking about the dude like i wish i'd have seen you mistakenly call somebody pregnant that wasn't pregnant and how they fucking reacted to you oh i think i need to get to work so yeah i just think that was just hilarious and stupid at the same damn time but i do think he has some because he's a fucking pervert to me he just he just seems perverted he's like an old dirty ass man one of the ones that walk up to you like hey girl yeah 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 that, that, that type of dude that's what he remind me of it was something else that i was going to talk about on this pntv on my way out to work but i need to actually get into my office so i just thank y'all for just riding to work with me um y'all comment in the comment section if y'all want to about any of these subjects if there's anything else that you'd like to talk about in the comment section just drop it down in there we'll talk about it today um, I'm spending my day listening to uh, YouTube videos of people that I've missed. I, it's been so far. I'm so far behind on di people's channels, like two or three weeks behind on a lot of people's channels that I love and enjoy to watch. So I'm catching up on that today. Oh, Phone Jones. Thank you for asking me. She asked me about my book. Like, Y'all, I'm going through distribution and printing issues. And it's my fault, um, which is why when I said that I'm trying to start my own publishing company, why I'm not taking on new authors, because I wanted to use myself as the dummy, as the scapegoat to see exactly what things work and what things don't work. And I'm learning a lot of shit that ain't working right now, because I keep pushing my book back. I keep pushing my book back. As y'all see, I'm not even promoting them. I have two books that's supposed to be coming out yesterday. You know what I'm saying? And um, I went with a whole new company and it, it shit just ain't moving like i thought it should have been it's not as, as smooth as going through amazon but amazon had a lot of problems that i'm trying to avoid and if i can you know get my shit together then i'll get both of my books out to you plus i was writing a third book an erotic book that's supposed to be due in july it's still being written but i don't know if i'm gonna get that out in july either so until i know another date on when my books are going to come out i'm not actually promoting them any longer on the channel um, I do have a convention coming up in a couple weeks, so hopefully I'll get this done and rectify within this week because I need books for my convention. So, but thank you for asking, Phone Jones. I appreciate it. Thank y'all for coming back to this channel. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Again, I want to thank you to all my new subscribers who have joined on. I appreciate you all being here. Peace.